the last lecture I uh, explained uh, regarding the use of Fourier series and what exactly exactly Fourier series is. So there I told that uh, any periodic function which is non-sinusoidal uh, like square wave, like triangular wave, like sorted wave can be uh, decomposed to its sinusoidal components. Okay or can be decomposed to its sine and cosine components so uh, and that thing we discussed in that class so today uh, uh, we will try to understand what are the different conditions uh, one function should be periodic that thing I have already told you but addition to that what uh, another conditions should be fulfilled fulfill by that periodic function uh, if we want to expand that periodic function in terms of Fourier series okay so uh, first point it should be periodic that thing I have already told you it should be periodic and second point is that the function should be single valued function okay suppose I am writing this function fx is equal to x to the power half okay so for suppose when x is equal to 4 then fx can be plus minus 2 so it is not a single valued function so if I uh, plot this function it will be look like that it is x so this is fx so and if it will be repeated because we are talking about the periodic function the periodic function should be repeated okay so that thing I will explain uh, I will again talk uh, I will talk the uh, difference between the naturally periodic function or periodically expanded uh, function that thing I will talk again so now uh, see this is a fx is equal to x to the power half this it will be repeated if it is a periodic function uh, but here for each point x point there is a two values of fx so this type of function cannot be used for its uh, Fourier expansion or this type of periodic function cannot be possible to be expanded with Fourier expansion ok so that is the second point third point is that the function should be bounded Okay, bounded means the function should have finite values. Okay, suppose uh, one example we can understand that thing. One example, wait, one example. So suppose uh, we know the shape of 10x or 10t. Okay, means 10 function. So it is like that. So when uh, what is the value of 10 pi by 2 it is infinity ok so when x it is x when x is equal to pi by 2 then 10 theta means if it is a f x then f x goes to infinity so this function if someone is telling that if f x is equal 10 x can you expand this function using, uh, uh, using periodic uh, using Fourier expansion then it is not possible because this function is not bound okay it is not bounded it goes to infinity at x is equal to pi by 2 so so for that we have seen that function should be bounded there are many functions which are bounded but I have given one example of function which is non bounded that is uh, one point so another point is that the function uh, that periodic function should have finite number of maxima and minima in a interval so since we are talking about periodic function therefore there should be some interval if it is an angular interval that is twice by if it is a time interval that is that is capital T ok so we can understand that thing uh, uh, in with a figure suppose
okay see this figure this is also a periodic function because the same structure is repeating after some uh, interval but in this periodic function though I, it is not possible to draw infinite number of maxima and minima but my intention is to show that there are infinite number of maxima and minima okay so if it is from z this to this uh, it is twice pi then at this interval there are infinite number of maxima and minima though i have drawn here only five maxima and minima but um, meaning is that there are infinite number of maxima, maxima and minima so this type of periodic function you cannot uh, expand using fourier expansion okay so that uh, square wave we uh, obtain in the earlier class or we have uh, talked in the earlier class that in that square wave so in this interval suppose this is minus pi to pi so in this interval how many maxima are there one two so two maxima are there so this uh, square wave can be expanded using a Fourier expansion that thing we have already known okay so that is the one condition then another condition is that so we can write this one that it should have finite number of maxima and minima in an interval okay so uh, and the last one is that and in an interval there should be finite number of discontinuities discontinu also so uh, one thing is that the function like the square function there is there are discontinuities at this point okay uh, like if i plot one uh, sinusoidal function so this function is continuous but if i plot square fun square wave or square signal so this this is not continuous at this point at this point there is a discontinuity which are called jump discontinuity jump discontinuity so uh, we can if uh, suppose this is the interval again again i am giving the example of the square wave so in a interval twice pi minus pi to pi so there are how many discontinuities are there one two three three discontinuities are there sometime this type of uh, periodic wave also we, we may obtain like uh, Okay, so this is repeating, this structure is repeating, but for each there are infinite number of discontinuities. These are discontinuities, okay. So you uh, you know what is discontinuity, if there is a difference in the left hand and right hand side limit, so those are discontinuities. So, uh, 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 so in this case we have seen that there are infinite number of discontinuities, if one function is defined like this, we cannot use Fourier expansion to expand that function. Okay, so these are the uh, Dirichlet conditions which should be satisfied by a periodic function uh, for its expansion using Fourier expansion. Okay, so uh, and those are the things. So now uh, another thing is that we have to find the coefficients that. Uh, Fourier expansion uh, what we can write fx is equal a naught by 2 plus integration ok so this is the general formula for formula for the Fourier expansion and here some in somewhere you can find there is only mm, this 2 is not given only a naught is given so why 2 is given why 2 not is given i will explain while i will uh, find the this coefficients 
okay uh, formula for this coefficients and this is called this a naught is called dc component and what is the uh, meaning of this component and that thing also we will study since some sometime what happens some signal signals are suppose uh, i have drawn one signal like this and uh, this one triangular triangular periodic function so this signal is not uh, symmetric along this axis okay so okay. there is a there is a some offset okay so in that offset periodic function we can have some values of this a naught suppose one function is given like this okay this is called sorted wave but the length in the upper half length in the lower half is same so this function if you find the a naught you will find a naught is equal to zero so there is no any offset so this is the meaning of this uh, component dc component okay so while we will find this coefficients uh, uh, this a naught a naught a n b n this Fourier coefficients there uh, we will see wh how this can be calculated okay fine so uh, in the next uh, video i will explain uh, uh, i will show you how to derive this Fourier coefficients okay so uh, i hope you have got some idea so if any doubts are there please ask me in the comment sections thank you